guys, it's Rachel from Free Scrapbooking Ideas and Videos.com, and I'm here to show you about a project that I'm about to start working on. So, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you've seen this one before. This is an album I did about my grandmother's house and the last trip that we took there. So, what it is, is a paper mache box. You can see there. Um, it, set, it sits nicely on a shelf if you want to do it that way, or you could just lay it down this way. Um, I got the box at Michael's. It's just, it comes plain like this one. And then I just took strips of patterned paper and Mod Podge and embellished the front and the back and the spine. So you can see when it's sitting on a shelf, it looks nice. Um, it's not the absolute perfect solution. It, um, you know, it has, it shows some signs of wear, but I'll tell you why I do like it. Um, the main reason I like it is because I can scrap tons of photos pretty quickly. So you can see here I've got just lots and lots of photos. They're all on backed on pattern paper. Um, I just got a paper pack and um, used all the coordinating papers. And then you've got all your journaling space on the back. Um, and I actually, this is actually more than what it looks like because a lot of the photos are composites. Um, I have another video that shows you how to do that and I can link to that in the description box. I've got four actual photos on here. I just used Photoshop Elements to fit four photos on a 4x6. So a lot of these are four photos or two photos, um, but that's why I like it because I can do it assembly line style. So I just took my stack of photos and, um, and then I just cut paper, put it on there, cut paper, put it on there, cut the pattern paper, put the photo on there. And then when I had my stack, I just stored them in here. And then um, I actually took this with me to like my kids' soccer games um, and when I was waiting for them at other places. And then I could just do my journaling. So I could take it with me. That was another thing I really liked about it. Um, and then you can put the ephemera in there if you want to. But mostly it just it saves a lot of design time, like laying stuff out, like 12 by 12 layouts. I love doing those. But especially for long trips, I know that if I try to do like super coordinated stuff, it's probably not going to get done. So I really like this approach. So I decided after I did this album to do an album about our 12th anniversary trip. So I just, before this video, I went and grabbed this out of my closet. And you can see I've already collected a bunch of ephemera in here. That's another cool thing about these is you can sort of um, baby step stuff. So you can get the box and then you can put, especially for trips. Um, well, for anything, but you can just put your ephemera in there and it's all ready to go once you get your pictures developed. So I did that. That was another baby step. Um, and as you can see, I put more than one photo onto a 4x6 just to save money and space. Um, Fly Lady, I'm always thinking about space because as cool as scrapbooks are, they do take up space long term. And so I thought, well, I could put more than one photo on a 4x6. Um, so I'm planning to use this paper pack. I got it at Michael's. It's called um, the Timeless Type Stack. But we went to sort of a historical city. Um, we're kind of nerdy and like to just go to bookshops and stuff like that. And so I felt like this paper pack would go well with the photos. Um, so I'm going to use this paper pack and use this paper mache box and do an album like this one. But it's going to be for our 12th anniversary pictures. So. The other thing I'm going to do is I have this this one sitting with my other photo albums in my living room. So I'm going to take a photo of that so you can see how it looks nice on a shelf and um, put that on my Facebook page and then I'll link to that for you in the description box. So anyways, baby step wise, that's, there we go. You get your box, you put your ephemera in there, you can choose a paper pack or coordinating paper. Um, then I spent time doing these had them ordered. So this is all, you know, just a little bit at a time, like I do everything. So anyways, just showing you, if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen this album or this concept. If you're not new, you just know that I've been doing my baby steps. So, all right. Thanks a lot.